I'm back at my uh, spot next to the beach for a bit of an experiment. It was suggested to me the, uh, yesterday on, uh, on the uh, DX Commander Discord that a, a chap will, whose call I can't quite remember at the moment, but I'll, I'll put it there somewhere. Uh, he uh, was using tape, tape measures, steel tape measures as radials. I think he was doing that in a permanent installation, but I thought that might make setting up portable with the Expedition very fast indeed. So anyway, I went and bought some tape measures yesterday and sold little tails to the end last night and uh, I'm going to set the antenna up and see if it see if it works first of all. So that's the first bit done, all the elements rigged. So just put the radials on now. So here's where the here's where the experiment starts. I've sort of fouled a bit of paint off and then I know the soldering's not great but uh, it'll do. I mean, it, it was <laughs> it was sinking a lot of heat so uh, the iron was only just capable but it'll serve its purpose. Um, yeah, and the idea is to use the five meter tape measure, I've got five of them, and use those as uh, radials. Um, yeah, 15 is about 1.3 to 1, so it's spot on on 40, spot on on 20, um, 15, great, you know, that's as good as you're going to get, I think. Um, let's try 17 metres. Mm. I've always had problems with a 17 metre element, that's, uh, that's off the charts, so that would need a bit of, I think the element needs a bit of trimming, just forget about 17 for now. If it's working on 40, 15, 20, then, um, then clearly 17 is going to work when I get the element right. Transforms the setup a bit and it, and it looks kind of cool too. It's like high vis, stay, stay away from the, uh, the guy lines and whatnot. To, uh, uh, for the visa fee, but uh, that doesn't bother me there. Over to you there, uh, Snake. Uh, Lima Alpha 7, Juliet Oscar, Whiskey 2, Yankee Radio in the group. No. Yeah, Roger. Uh, W2YR, K3 said Owen, group, Billy 7 jo There's a slight bit of QSB coming in now, but the uh, there's a net on 20 metres between <clears throat> Germany, Maryland in the US, and another station in the US. They're all perfectly readable. It's uh, Which is, is not... You know, that's not down to the radials, that's down to being next to the sea, but... Yeah, brilliant. I can actually see, I can see the my QTH from here. But the difference in a, a couple of miles is, <laughs> wow. Get away from the electronics clutter of your neighbours and yourself. So I just thought I'd, I thought I'd give Whisper a quick go and just see where my signal's getting to the band conditions seem pretty good today and it's just dropped the USB connection on my laptop which is strange because the SWR is fine the standard radials don't do that it works perfectly Trying a new way of winding the radials, as suggested by Chris, M1BZN. Um, usually I just wrap them around my hand, but then they get tangled up basically, it puts turns in the wire. So the idea is you do a uh, figure of eight around your thumb and finger. Don't know if that's going to work until the next time I put the antenna up, but worth a go, isn't it? Bugger. I think I'll just bottom my car out. No, but it definitely scraped the underside or something. I'm gonna have to stop coming down here with the car. 
So that was a, a partial success. I was excited at first. Doesn't make much sense to me. Um, so SSB was fine. The SWR was spot on, so we've got 40 working, 15, 20. Um, couldn't really, couldn't get a better match. It just wasn't moving the uh, the needle. But when I went on to try Whisper, something was going on with the laptop and it wasn't transmitting. But I switched over to FT8 on uh, on both 20 and 40, and it was dropping the USB connection. So which suggests RF's getting reflected back down the coax. But that usually happens on NFEDs when the SWR ain't so good and you've got to maybe use the ATU or whatever. So yeah, I'm not, that's confusing. I mean, I was a bit short on the radials. There were, I had five, uh, five meter tape measures, which is not really enough, I don't think. Will, who uh, suggested the idea, was using seven 10 meter tape measures. So obviously that's significantly more. So perhaps the answer is a double up on the tape measures, but then it's not, well, it's not quite as practical then. Anyway, the conclusion is, if you're using it for SSB, it's quick to rig and seems to, seems to work fine. But uh, there's some issues with Digi which I like playing with. I like playing with the digi mode, so perhaps this isn't the solution for me.